Paracycling is a sport for athletes with a disability. It pretty much encompasses four types of bikes, which dictates the classes in which the athletes are racing in. You've got the tandems, who are um, provided to blind athletes. The pilot is the only able-bodied athlete on the team, obviously. Afterwards, you've got the regular bicycles, with or without adaptations. These bikes are mostly aimed at athletes with either some cerebral palsy or any type of physical limitations, such as amputations or brain injuries. If an athlete has a lower level of balance, we'll put him on a tricycle, so your regular road bike with two wheels in the back. And finally, for the athletes with a spinal cord injury, they will race in a hand bike, so it's a recumbent bike on the ground, uh, pretty much pedaling with their arms. Or you might see some athletes with a higher level of, of impairment on their spinal cord race in the kneeler, so they're pretty much kneeling on their, on their hand bike. I race tandem cycling. I'm the stoker, I'm on the back. I have a visual impairment, and for me, the tandem is uh, the way that I race, uh, not being able to see, riding a single bike. Audrey, the pilot, is my eyes and the two of us work as a team. Robbie and Audrey have been together since uh, 2015. Um, oh. They were at the Rio Paralympics last year where they finished fifth at the road race. Robbie has got a long history of, uh, of para sports. Uh, she's been world champion twice. She's been Paralympic champion in 2012. I'm a paracyclist, so I'm using a hand cycle. It was natural to focus on that, uh, to keep me positive, to bring me joy and good energy. The feeling in the wind, the speed that you can get and stuff like that, so um, I really enjoy it. So basically events like today are very well suited to identify new talents, uh, just because it's a very nice setup for new athletes to have a first racing experience. And it's, it's a good way for us to just observe uh, newcomers and make sure that we can get in contact with them. And uh, after that, they can uh, keep going in the sport. Yeah.